I'm going to go out on a limb and predict a fourth quarter rally for a number of reasons. First, historically, the fourth quarter has been the best for stocks. In the last 20 years, the S&P has averaged 4.57% return in the fourth quarter, compared to negative 0.37% in the third quarter, 2.3% in the second quarter, and 1.02% in the first quarter. Uh, you can see this in the attached chart from Bespoke Investment Group. Uh, this might not seem like a good reason to be bullish, but there is an important cause of this seasonality. Uh, the stock market is controlled by the big money on Wall Street. These guys are judged and paid based on their performance. Therefore, they have a huge incentive to move the market higher at year end in order to pad their performance and year end bonuses. In my opinion, this bias towards year end rally has become even more pronounced in recent years due to the increased presence of hedge funds, which take 20% of the profits in the market. <clears throat> Indeed, there have been Santa Claus rallies in each of the four full years in which I've managed money professionally, and a look at the charts shows that this has been true uh, for preceding years as well. Uh, the one thing you can count on from Wall Street is that every stratagem to move money from your pocket to theirs will be utilized. The second bullish factor is technical. As I've noted in many previous client notes, 1100 is solid intermediate technical support. Uh, that was the low established in the wake of the S&P downgrade when fear was high and volume heavy. With today's close at 1099, we are in the midst of a crucial test of that level. Many traders have surely placed their stops just below 1100, setting up the possibility for a washout at the open tomorrow. Now we saw something similar on Tuesday, August 9th, when traders had placed their stops just below 1120, which was the low from Monday, August 8th, uh, the first day after the S&P downgrade. Now when that level was taken out in the wake of the FOMC statement, all the, all the traders' stops were triggered, and the S&P dropped 20 points in about 5 minutes, hit 1100, but then with all, all that selling pressure cleared out, it surged ferociously higher. Um, all the way back up to 11.70. I should know, I should know because um, while I didn't have an actual stop at 11.20, my game plan was to get out with a clear break of 11.20. I did, um, I was whipsawed out at the bottom and we, uh, we missed out on a really good trade. <coughs> However, after, you know, after hitting 1100, that, that support held up for, uh, into, until, until now. And so we, we've, we've very, very well may see something similar uh, tomorrow or in the next few days, which could put in place a, a good a good low from which to rally into your end. Uh, finally, you know valuations are supportive at these levels. S and P operating earnings over the trailing four quarters are ninety one dollars. At eleven hundred, that's a twelve point one trailing multiple. Uh, many blue chip stocks, high quality blue chip stocks, are actually trading at lower multiples than that. Now, while I think uh, a recession is coming and will clearly hurt earnings. Um, I think it, will, it probably won't uh, really hit them hard until 2012. Um, <laughs> there are two scenarios that could derail this fourth quarter rally. The first has to do with the European debt crisis. Um, if Greece defaults or there's any other unknown adverse event, then clearly all bets are off and we can very well make new lows uh, in, in, the end, in the last quarter of this year. Um, for the moment, however, it appears, it appears like the, the crisis has been averted. Most of the 17 euro member parliaments uh, passed the EFSF expansion, and Greece seems set to receive the 8 billion euro bailout installment it needs to get it through year end. Um, Barclays chief European economist Julian Callow gave a good overview of the situation on CV this morning, and you can watch that. Um, it's, it's, it's linked to you in my client note. Uh, the other concern is third quarter earnings. Um, if those come in worse than expected, and there's really been a substantial hit to earnings in the last three months, then uh, again, I think we can, we can make new lows um, in, the, in the next uh, three months. However, analysts have already taken numbers down, and expectations right now are very, very muted. So if we can just kind of slide by and earnings be okay, I think, I think we can hold, hold here and, and rally. Both the decision regarding Greece's 8 billion euro installment and third quarter earnings will occur in October. Even though we're in a bear market, and I expect us to go lower in 2012, if we can get through the scariest of stock market months, 
I think we are setting up for a reprieve through year end.